Hello, good day everyone. Today we are going to discuss this reinforced concrete design considering the working stress design using the NSAP 2010-2015. Okay? But before proceeding no, to this uh, said seaboard exam problem, so please don't forget to subscribe no, to my YouTube channel so that you can be updated and notified if ever uh, i will upload uh, future videos regarding this subject in force concrete design and moving forward we have now this problem statement a reinforced concrete rectangular beam 280 mm in width has an effective depth of 520 millimeters and it is reinforced only at the bottom with five pieces of this 28 mm diameter bars and the reinforcing steel strength fs is 140 megapascal and the compressive strength of the concrete FC prime is 28 megapascal. Use the alternate working stress design method and the modular ratio is given which is n is equal to 9. And we have these three questions no? which of the following most clearly gives the location of the neutral axis from the topmost fiber of the beam, which of the following most clearly gives the moment capacity of the beam and lastly which of the following best describe the section. So as you can observe no on this uh, past seaboard exam uh, you can see that the nature of the board exam that we have no, at present in the philippines is you are going to select no, among the choices and then after is uh, you are going to 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 identify no what is the correct answer among the choices but before that, you need to calculate no, the exact value of those choices no, given from the problem. So in this case, uh, we have these three questions in a single problem. So for the purpose of this video, uh, we only need to determine the exact values no, of this uh, location of the neutral axis from the topmost fiber of the beam afterwards we are going to calculate the exact moment capacity of the beam and third is we have to describe the section of based on the moment capacity of the beam with respect now to the concrete and the steel section okay so proceeding with this uh, we have this uh, approach now the first step here is uh, you are going to locate no, the location of the neutral axis but before that you need to draw no, the the initial shape no, of your rectangular beam in which it is given here that it is uh, 200, 280 millimeter in width so we have here the width 280 millimeter and the effective depth no, is 520 millimeter so you have to take note that when it involves no, the effective depth it is uh, usually referring now to the distance no, from the topmost fiber of your concrete to the centroid of your steel so that is why as you can see here we have this uh, distance no, of 520 from the topmost of your uh, concrete fiber to the centroid of the steel and after that since we are considering this alternate working stretch design method so you need to have this uh, transformed section no? since we are going to calculate this one using the transformed area method and we need to assume no and to establish this neutral axis at a distance x no from the topmost fiber of the concrete beam okay and consequently we can get no the distance from the neutral axis to this centroid no of this uh, steel section this transform steel section here no at a distance 520 minus x okay so proceeding now to locate the neutral axis and you need to use the moment area method here in which we are going to determine here from the concrete section above the neutral axis and also the moment area below this uh, neutral axis no here so for the concrete section above the neutral axis so we have this area 280 times this x okay times the distance no from the centroid of this concrete section to the neutral axis so it is equal to x over 2 
that is why we have here x over 2 and equal now to the moment area below this neutral axis referring to this n times area of your steel here times no its distance no from the centroid of this n times area of your steel to the neutral axis which is equal now to 520 minus x okay so we need you can directly substitute no the value of your n here which is 9 and the area of steel can be calculated using the area of your steel times 5 no since we have these five pieces but uh, I actually calculate first here no this n times the area of your steel which is uh, this area of your steel is pi over 4 times this squared times the number of pieces of 5 times the n of 9 so we can get this value of 0 0.027709 square meter and afterwards we we substitute it here no in this the value here and we can actually calculate now the value of your x which is equal then to 237 millimeters okay so this is the answer actually for the first uh question no? the location of the neutral axis from the topmost fiber of the beam okay meaning this is the topmost fiber no? of the beam and its location to the neutral axis is at a distance x so this is it no 237 millimeters and we are going to proceed now to the second question the moment capacity of the beam we actually we need to consider no before arriving to this moment capacity we need to calculate first the the moment of inertia the gross moment of inertia since our texture formula is just equal now to this m times your y over the gross moment of inertia okay so proceeding so we have now this uh, moment of inertia considering the neutral axis take note that when you are going to consider the transform area method so you have to locate the neutral axis no not the centroidal axis so that is why if we are going to consider the centroidal or the neutral axis you have to use this formula but this time we are considering the neutral axis no so we need to consider this one third bh cube plus this ad squared okay so this first term here this one third times bh cube is referring now to this uh, concrete section above the neutral axis no our b is 280 and our h is just this x okay and for this ad squared is referring now to the section below the neutral axis no this area here is referring now to this n times the area of area of your steel and then this d is just equal now to this distance no 520 minus x okay so proceeding and substituting no the parameters bh and your n times area of your steel and your d so we can actually get no the value of our gross moment of inertia so in the first term here so 0.28 here times your x cube this is our x and then for the second term n times the area of steel so we have calculated this one no, in our previous slide times this distance no which re which is referring to this 520 minus x so we can actually get no the gross moment of inertia equal now to 0 0.00346164 times m to the fourth okay so after that uh, we are going to calculate no the moment capacity of the beam no with respect now to the concrete and steel no using this bending stress formula but first we are going to calculate first the bending stress with uh, with regards now to this concrete no so we have now this formula f of your concrete equal now to m times y over this gross moment of inertia so our y uh, we can determine this y no from this uh, given uh, transform section in which this is now the distance no the distance from the neutral axis no to the to the topmost uh, fiber of this concrete since we are considering no this concrete so we need to consider no the distance from the neutral axis to the topmost uh, 
uh, fiber no of this uh, concrete in this concrete above the neutral axis okay so our y is just simply equal now to this x okay and our gross moment of energy is just equal to this but uh, as you can see we don't have this value of m no since this is our unknown and we are only after to this m and this m is actually our moment capacity no with respect no to this concrete section but we also don't have this value of this bending stress for the concrete so what shall we do now so we are going to deal with the code no according to the code for the concrete its allowable bending stress is just equal now to 0 0.45 times the fc prime and fc prime is given in the problem so we can actually get no this f allowable which is equal now to this f of your concrete okay so substituting 0 0.45 times 28 megapascal no which is given the problem so we can have this f of your concrete equal now to 12.6 megapascal okay after that we substitute it here and the only variable that we can get here is this m no which is referring now to the moment of capacity of the beam of the beam no with respect now to the concrete okay so we have now this uh, calculation here substituting the f of the concrete equal now to 12.6 equal to m times 0 0.237 no okay over this gross moment of inertia so we can get now the value of our m which is equal now to 184 kilonewton meter and this is the moment capacity for the concrete no for the concrete section no above the neutral axis okay so we are done no with the moment capacity for the concrete section and now we are going to proceed no to the steel section but prior to proceeding to the steel section no so you have to to review no the stress diagram uh, to eliminate uh, ambiguity no of why is it that we use this fs over n so as per concepts no of this uh, working stress design and as per the eci and nacp code uh, we have this uh, uh, stress no on the concrete side uh, experiencing this uh, compression here which is fc and we have now this fs over n no, for this side no for the steel side and this is a dash line or broken line no, because uh, this this simply mean that there is a discontinuity no between the band of the concrete and of the steel so that is why during the flexure calculation the concrete is uh, excluded no and we are only dealing with this fs over n no Okay. So to get the value of your of the stress no of your steel so you need to multiply this one with the modular ratio n to get the value of your stress of your steel. So actually this fs over n is the allowable value allowed by the code no as per the NCP code or the ECI code. So that is why we have here this fs over n is the allowable value by the code from the stress diagram okay and this fs over n is just equal now to this f of your steel over the n and which is subsequently equal now to this bending formula my over the gross moment of inertia and in this case uh, our y is just simply equal now to this no 520 minus x because we are considering no the steel section of below the neutral axis but if you are considering the concrete section this y is just equal to x no in our previous slide but this time we are considering the steel section so we are going to use this value here 520 minus x okay so that is why we have here 0 0.52 minus x over the gross moment of inertia and substituting we have this value of fs no which is equal now to the f of your steel which is 140 megapascal as given in the problem so by substituting the value here and the n is 9 so the only unknown parameter that we can get here is the m and which is the moment capacity of 
the still section okay so we have now this value of our m which is equal now to 190 kilonewton meter and this is the moment capacity for the still section thus we can say that based on the result no for the moment capacity considering the concrete section and considering the still section we can therefore say that we are going to use no this value no, of m equal now to 184 kilonewton meter so rem just remember not to use the less value no, among the two so in this case the less value is this 184 kilonewton meter and which is the moment capacity considering the concrete section okay so this is the answer no for our second uh question no the moment capacity of the beam and now we are going to proceed no to the third question the determination of this beam section so actually uh, if we are not using no the allowable values for the concrete and for the steel actually we can determine the kind of section the the beam modulus of rupture no, as denoted by this fr but since we are using no the allowable values for the concrete and for the steel as per the ncp code and ECI code so we are going to determine what kind of beam section is this by using the moment capacity with regards to the concrete and steel so as calculated and computed no this is the moment capacity of the beam for the concrete and for the steel so what is the implication of this one so we can say that the moment capacity no of the concrete which is the top fiber is only 184 kilonewton meter while the moment capacity of the steel is 190 kilonewton meter that is the steel is 6 kilonewton meter more than the moment capacity of the concrete thus the concrete no will fail first than the steel so this would be our answer no for this uh, beam section okay so i hope no uh, you've learned something out of this uh, video no regarding the subject the uh, reinforced concrete design considering the working stress design and that would be it no for this uh, samples eboard exam problem and for our next topic no we are going to discuss this ultimate stress design or the usd and i'm looking forward no for this topic and these are my references also for this uh lecture video and thank you very much no for listening and for watching also and most of all thank you very much for subscribing to my youtube channel and i hope to see you again no, in my next lecture video so thank you very much no everyone and god bless and keep safe everyone